First Division. Barnsley, of course, have already knocked out two First Division clubs, Swansea and Brighton, in this competition. And nearly 34,000 people turned up tonight to see if they could do it to Manchester City, who won the League Cup twice in 1970 and 76. Your commentator at the Oakwell Ground is Barry Davis. The pictures and the noise offer fulsome evidence of how football is booming in Barnsley. For the last two hours, the thousands have made the trek from the centre of the town in an atmosphere whose warmth belonged to an age gone by. And here inside Oakwell, an all-ticket crowd of nearly 34,000, and for the second time this season, a new record in gate receipts. Over the years, the deeds of Barnsley have made only a few headlines, but their place in football's folklore has long been assured by names like Blanche Lauer, Normanton, Brooke, Tilson and Tommy Taylor. But now it is the team which commands respect. Very much involved in the battle for promotion of the first division, and they've never been in the top division. And a League Cup round which produced, so far, 17 goals and dismissed already two teams from the first division. The only disappointment for them today, the fact that Derek Parker is not fit and it's Glyn Riley who comes in alongside Trevor Aylott up front. Manchester City, of course, have been through all this sort of thing before and sometimes fallen. And they come here without Trevor Francis, who's in hospital having an operation on a troublesome thigh. It's Phil Boyer who takes his place, Tommy Caton is fit, and Martin O'Neill leaves the first choice lineup and takes his place on the substitute bench. Howard Taylor of Oadby in Leicestershire is the referee, and Barnsley in white shorts attacking the goal to our left. They've done it twice. Is it to be a hat-trick against first division teams? Swansea the first to fall, then Brighton. Manchester City, who reached the semi-final last year, and were very unlucky, really, to lose over two legs to Liverpool, the eventual winners. Tommy Caton with the first free kick. Barraclough goes backwards at the start. I'm sure we see plenty of him going forwards. It's Mick McCarthy. Taken by Trevor Aylott. And Barraclough has some space. Away by Ransom. Solid stuff from McDonald's. A good attempt to find Banks by Joyce. There's Aylott. Scored twice against Brighton. Strong header. McCarthy to plant it back again, but Trevor Aylott has moved offside. McDonald's. Evans leaves it to McCarthy and goes to cover. Stewart. McCann. Riley. Reeves. Jordan from behind by Joyce. getting a little bit of his own back and kicked the ball away which is why Mr. Taylor has looked for the book and there can be no question the referee fully entitled City with four players along the 18 yard line 
one of them is Tewitt here oh he's done well but he couldn't pull it back at least he couldn't pull it back enough Dennis Stewart, who scored the winning goal in the League Cup final back in 76, probably the most spectacular goal seen in the final of this competition. Bond, McHale, McDonald's. Chambers. Oh, that was a bit wild by Ray Ransom. And the second name is going to go in the book. assumes if I read him right that Ray Ransom was making the point that that was his first challenge which is uh, I must say something that I've always felt is neither here nor there if it's a bookable tackle it's a bookable tackle Stewart Hartford He's taken over the skipper's job in the absence of Paul Parr and uh, also on the injured list for Manchester City it's Jerry Gow. This fellow's been ever present this season. Both defender and goalkeeper. taking on his man is still something which very much lifts the crowd oh, good jump by McCarthy which he quickly covers or does he well, at the expense of a corner and the first corner of the match goes to the first division side currently in ninth place in that division Barnsley in sixth place in the second division Reeves on the near post Bond has come up into the six yard box beaten by Evans but here's Reeves Certainly he wasn't attacked. Nobody attacked the ball. After Bond had half won it. And shot a disappointing one from Reeves. But he was certainly given the time after Bond's attentions had forced the header down from Evans. Baraclough. Backs to his right, number five. Oh, that's a good try. Some venom in that shot. City ball. Ian Banks, who scored ten times this season, all of them in the league. And he certainly got hold of this one. Straight into the midriff of Corrigan. Chambers is going forward in the outside left position. Dennis Stewart, who's just signed a two-year contract, a new two-year contract, certainly enjoying himself this evening. And for that challenge on him, Mick McCarthy is going to be the third name in Mr. Taylor's book. He seems to be all over the place, but he's not alone in that. An awful lot of movement by all players. One by Evans. A lot. Barclough. Battle well. Hartford. Eight is Reeves. So 
Nottingham is just forcing the turn. Ranson. Long ball, I would have thought, by Hartford. But it hasn't been given. Stewart. Pace at times quite frightening and uh, occasionally causing problems in control as we just saw then. And there's going to be a need for the trainer to have a look at uh, McHale. What a pleasing sight that is, the packed terrace. A little room for the 19-year-old Ian Banks. A lot. Good early ball from McHale to Riley. Battles back for it well. Banks. Nicely chipped out. Stewart once more turning defence into attack. It's Hartford. Hutchison running left. Renson running right. Nicely played by Hartford to him. Boyers in the middle. Oh, well done. Just listen to the atmosphere increasing as he makes the run. This is Clevin. And we're going to see another name in the book. That of Nicky Reed. at the back and Corrigan what a good right and there was a foul anyway calls for the policeman who returned the ball to play in Reeves bit of a lean on by Reeves he's trying to try and jump the earlier Ian Evans once of QPR and Crystal Palace Chambers Riley underneath it so was Kevin Bond not the area for Hutchison to dwell on the ball <laughs> McCarthy capable of a long throw Aylott just snatched away from Gladwin McHale well what is known I think as a flashing shot Never looked like being anywhere near target. Just nicked away from Glavin there, who was better placed, and McHale hits it with his right well, well wide. And Horn has yet to be troubled. Evans, the cover man. <laughs> Riley. 
Riley. And still. Well, no, says the referee. Well, Riley stays more in hope than any particular agony. But Stewart back once again defensively. And the referee saw that as accidental or an attempt to play the ball. in front of the back players to start things going forward for City. Hartford. It's a throw. the time Norman Hunter goes away doubtless to talk to his team about patience they've had the greatest share of the attacking but at half time it's nil nil well the statistics of the first half show that Barnsley had seven shots as against City's three all of City's off target 11 free kicks each and two bookings each what did most to frustrate Barnsley was the number of City players who got themselves into covering positions. Here's Kevin Reeves. Barnsley in this fourth round of the League Cup for the second year running. They've never previously been further. Reeves, McHale, Glavin. Stewart, Evans, killed it well. Scooby shot as he was challenged. Scooby's clearance rather as he was challenged. 
still to it. Oh, that's a good try! And it hits one post, hits the goalkeeper, and goes wide of the far post. And Hutchison looks in total disbelief, as well might anybody who saw it. Quite unreal, that. Look at the shot, comes back off the post, hits the goalkeeper, and somehow goes wide of the other post. And of course, as you would have noticed, it was Tommy Hutchison's shot and not Dennis Stewart's. Well, from a city point of view, everything went wrong about that, including the commentator's identification. as ever calling for it loses to Caton McHale it's corner and Barnsley's first of the match evening up that particular facet of the game Lavin coming for a short one Evans up in the six yard box Met by Caton. Time for Banks. Corrigan comes and makes it look so easy. Right, right. The knee in the back of the knee of Boyer by Evans. McDonald's. Decisive, if truth be told. Tide closed around him. Evans. McCarthy. Joyce. Pulled him around the neck in the end. Caden. Riley. Banks just behind. And the free kick given against McDonald. And the fifth booking of the match. And the referee paused a second before giving the free kick. The injured player is Glenn Riley. still hurting him McHale to take the free kick McCarthy and Aylock couldn't get that but he won't make it or will he? Yes, he will. 
Lemming coming to the near post. A lot further over. And that's a really super goal. Oh, that's a super goal. Low, a relatively low trajectory of the uh, cross. And he goes to look for Banks and no wonder. Really good move. And all credit for the weight of the pass in the first place. Banks made the run. Really was ideal for him. And just look at the cross. And Alot meeting it full of power for his 12th goal of the season. And one which gives Barnsley of the second division a priceless lead over Manchester City of the first in the fourth round of the Football League Cup. And here is Hutchison. Evans. Hutchison. And the crowd reminding anybody who hasn't noticed what the score is. And Norman Hunter on his feet. His team so involved in everything at the moment and how ironic for him that it could well prove to be a threat to his old team Leeds United Evans lost it for a moment so did Banks a bit it's a moment when concentration is at a premium chase for Alot Tate and Shawley will make it first Chambers Riley looked up sees Banks to the right again competitive piece of play by Hartford oh. and the free kick given and taken Banks once more all oh, worth a try and it swerved a fair bit With the goalkeeper well forward to his six yard line a very useful right look at Corrigan's positioning Chambers McCarthy Haylott it was out Dean Riley deserving of great credit for the pass and return with Banks, which started the move for the goal. Here's Haylott. Just the throw has been given. Barnes, I think they've got a free kick, but they haven't. Taken by Joyce and then by Ransom. Hutchison on the right. Reed in the inside right position going to the middle. Stewart on the far side. They've got so many players forward now. And they get a corner from it. And the cross which is really a bit too far forward. City's fourth corner. Bond again up in the six yard box. Met by McCarthy. Hutchison. Hartford. And harrying by Barraclough. Bond. Evans. And the pressure on the home team growing. It's a good comeback by Manchester City. Once more marked by two. Clayton once more on the far side. As is McDonald. And Boyer. Reeves is back quick. McCarthy's header on the six-yard line. Hartford. 
And Boyer made it, and so did the keeper. That's got all the power he would have liked. Part but it was curling quite a lot. Boyer got the knockdown, came slightly off McCarthy as well, and the keeper did well. Stewart. Beautifully turned inside by Banks. Such has been the determination. This is not an easy match, the referee. Banks. A lot. Oh, good try and point save. Really, really smart turn. Bond popping up on the right now. Hutchison. Met by Evans. Glavin. Banks. Barrett up to his right. And they get the free kick for the obstruction. And another name in the book. This gives us a chance to look again at the speed of Trevor Aylott's turn and the save of Joe Corrigan. Sort of form he's been in all season. And McHale will take the free kick. Hartford having had his name put in the book. That was Aylott yet again. by Hutchison it was well driven at him he's got a touch of glasses this Mick McCarthy <laughs> 22 and the local boy has been in all the promotion sides as Barnsley have come out of the fourth and threatened to arrive in the first stood his ground and Baraclough puts it in the one area of empty terrace notice the Manchester City supporters behind the goal that their team is attacking and there's extra employment from a member of the police force once more around the near post McDonald in the centre of the six yard box Bond got the back flick there's McDonald and a good save <laughs> he hasn't had too much to do but he's made two good saves in this half Bobby Horn particularly that one from Bobby McDonald who took the back flick Bond has added a bit to this city attack. Bond again. And Stewart and Evans. Reeves. Bond. Good try. And he got down so well again. a far better player than he's given credit for and he really got hold of that and the goalkeeper down very swiftly Hutchison five in the middle 
Aylott. Riley makes the run. Aylott sees him, but the ball's too far forward. Boyer. Three minutes between Barnsley and victory. And a hat trick of bringing down first division sides. Go kick. Strange foul by uh, McDonald. So clear the barge in the back. <laughs> Crowd applauding the back pass. And the back free kick. And Barnsley now just two minutes away from a piece of history for them. They've never been in the last eight of the League Cup. That's the prize which is now so close. Evans. Bond. Oh, here's Hartford. And McCarthy yet again. If you have to pick two from the Barnsley side, I suggest he and Aylott will be the two. candidates, Horn saves the worrying in midfield skill of Banks, here's Reed. but Manchester City and the supporters or oh, their youngsters from the uh, home crowd, well they were mainly City supporters before and the police having to get in and uh, rescue the ball I was going to say Manchester City who have not been in good form recently they've battled away to pull themselves back in this match missing key players like Paul Power and Jerry Gow and in particular Trevor Francis don't seem to be able to score goals when he's not in the team Evans watching Reed. Ransom. Ransom once more. Out by Evans. Barraclough. Just into opposition territory is all that matters. As we're now playing the time that uh, the referee has on his watch. The stoppages and bookings and injuries. McHale. Another check of the watch. And McCarthy just pumps it away and forces Joe Corrigan to come way out. has fallen another first division scout for Norman Hunter and his Barnsley team the one goal scored by Trevor Aylott who goes to shake hands with a man he beat Joe Corrigan a match maybe more for Skinner Normanton than Danny Branchflower but a memorable victory for Barnsley and what a good match Mick McCarthy had but each one of them that have enjoyed the moment. As indeed have the crowd who came here in hope, one might say belief, and have had both fulfilled. Those 
Chris Clinch in victory. And another success for Barnsley and Norman Hunter. Norman, I bet you would like to have played in that one. Well, I would have done, but uh, I've had my day. The lads, uh, the 11 lads out there for us, uh, they played extremely well. And I was proud of them tonight. Your team are having a few good days, aren't they? Well, we have good days and a few bad days. We had a bad day on Saturday, so uh, now we had a good, good day tonight. So.